by Connecticut. Wolfweiler. This one comes out to Morse for a drive into the logo of Caitlin Burt. Shot from Gerard, blocked. Second opportunity deflected in front, and it is stopped by Burt. Crawley thought she had the opening goal. Smiles from Burt, and she still hasn't given up a goal this season. Oh, man. She almost did. It almost looked like she wasn't sure where it was for a moment there, but good. Oh, would have loved to see that pass get across to the back door play. A good job from Burt. Nice move here, continuing along, but it's covered up by Ives. Also want to remind you that the successful penalty kill from Boston was presented by Ufos. Down the other way, score! What a snipe from Megara McManus. Just like that, Boston goes up. That was a great shot. There is not a whole lot that any goalie is going to do with a snipe like that. And the Boston Pride back on top to start this game. Putinia puts it in front, and that's two for Boston. Put home by Wenskowski. Ives' own defender got in her way, and an easy tap in for Boston to make it two. And another Boston Pride player getting their second of the season. That's two for Wenskowski. In hockey, it's <laughs> Nothing is ever safe. Short-handed opportunity maybe here. Ives sticks it away. Rebound put in front. Ives robbery. Still loose. Which team is on the power play right now? Boulier. Shot saved by Ives. Rebound is fanned on by McManus. Yeah, so great idea. Great chance there. Classic fanned on it. Now puts it in front. Rebound. Score. <laughs> Emily Fluke. Capitalizes on the rebound left by Burt, and for the first time this season, Caitlin Burt gives up a goal. That's no fluke there. See what I did? <laughs> <laughs> Great job from Emily Fluke, and I mean, truthfully, the play to set it up. Ding Kennedy Marchment with the assist on the fluke goal, so we'll see if that stands. This play here, and it's in! Oh, Burt tried to reach for it and just missed it, and now it's two to two. And I think it was Marchment. Right on cue, it is. But a great opportunity. Vlasic gets that puck across. And Marchment just, with the angle on Burke, slides it over. Oh, just sneaks it in off that, in, that far post. Back the other way, Gerard. Back in front, Gerard. Save is made. Rebound. Where is it? Referee's looking for it. It's somewhere underneath Burke. Gerard getting not one, but two chances on it. Burt coming up with the save impressively. Back behind four, Wolf Filer from Gerard. Now it is Gerard. Turner open at the point. Saved by Burt, rebound covered. Wolf Filer right there, really pressuring. Alrin gets it into the zone. Marchman lays it off. Shot here by Crowley, deflected by Marchman, and she scores her second of the period. And it's 3-2, Whale. Well. Marchman has just found that scoring touch later in this game. She is crashing the net, using that presence, that size. You see her making the play, too, to set it up. Marchman not out there right now, so. Thrown in front. Dempsey waiting, they score! Boston finds a way to tie it up with under 40 seconds to go. And like I said earlier, Patina led the team last year in points 12. Had a great game so far with an assist, and now this timely goal to tie things up. And oh. now the other way, two on two. Davis still with it. Davis puts it in front, rebound, score! It's Patina again at the end of regulation, now in overtime. Boston comes from behind to get the win. Wow, I mean, it just goes to show you it's all about the timing. Boston struggling through the second, finding that late goal in the third to force overtime, keeping that momentum, and they get it there with 90 seconds left. Patina, the hero to tie it and to win this game and earn two points for the prize.